Okay, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all enjoying the fantastic weather that we're having at the moment. And because of that, I've decided to paint some sunflowers today. You can sort of, there's a painting of sunflowers in the background, but we're not going to be painting that one. We're going to explore as we go along and develop as we go along. But basically, these are going to be your colors, okay? I have them all laid out as usual, which you can freeze the video or, you know, do a screenshot and you'll have plenty of time to see these colors here. So seven, seven lucky colors basically for the flowers, um, the center and the, and the um, blossoms. So, um, and then there's two inspirational colors at the bottom, which I'll show you, you know, at the very end, they just give it a bit of a spark. But uh, basically you all have that, like the manganese blue is your base color. Okay, sometimes, as you know, we always, mostly use cobalt blue but occasionally I use other colors and manganese I'd go, go for this time um, then you have your cadmium yellow light obviously because yellow is in the sunflowers cadmium orange medium that's going to be in the sunflowers cadmium red medium that's going to be in the sunflowers as well brilliant blue that'll go somewhere in the background the light green pyramid if we can get in stems and a few leaves we'll use that and the cadmium red deep will be the center it'll be start off with the base color for the the seed head of the flower and then your magenta medium and the cobalt blue when we get to those i'll show you what we're going to do with those because they're pretty exciting they give a bit of a spark to it okay and movement so basically that's it if you can see can you see the colors you can see them there okay i mean you can freeze the video you can screenshot and take it from there okay and um, what i'm going to do is have a sip of this out of my lovely mug my lovely dream mug. You probably recognize it from the classes. We have a whole selection of these, which we'll be back to soon, back in the studio. So you have all your colors there. Okay, so we're gonna take it away. And then if you need to see the colors again, just you know, email me, ask me on YouTube or on my website, and I can um, email them to you or text them to you, you know, no problem. Okay, so I'll move those over there. Now, you know, we have the usual setup with the canvas. I've put the tape on it, tape around the edges to keep the edges nice and white. And I've put the base color on for so as it dried earlier. And you know, I go right out to the edge, you know, to make sure there's a fine line there at the edge of the tape. So we have all that. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna do this as we go along, just to show you, rather than work from any particular painting, I just have that in the background. So as you can see, the basic idea of the colors, okay? So let's say we're going to start sketching it on with this, with a pastel pencil again, soft pastel, or if you just have a soft pastel uh, stick or a brush and um, some, you know, off-white color or whatever. So let's say what I start with, first of all, is I start with the center seed head. So let's say I'm going to put a seed head here. Okay. Just a very simple circle like that. No big deal. Okay. We all did to what those do you remember we used to put smiley faces on it but that's not going to be smiley face just to let show you it's going to be the seed head then maybe we'll do another one up here smaller okay smaller and then i always like to saw offset one maybe peeping in a much bigger one here okay in the foreground so what we do then is we're not going to do individual petals or such we're going to give give the impression of you know erotic sort of shapes of the petals going out like this okay can you see don't don't even think about it as you're doing it just let your pencil or your brush flow now do you see the way i did it there that's basically that one and i did this one here first because it's in front it's closest to us okay this would be the next one and that would be the background one okay then we're going to start here maybe we start don't have to necessarily start up there with your petals all the time you could start anywhere start over here okay do another one like that they're going behind that so remember then start coming up here like with this guy over there. Sorry, the canvas is moving up there like that. Another one there, nice and loose. Get, get, get a free flow to your um, to your pen or your brush. And if you find like if this, that one looks quite narrow there, just bring it an extra line like that, make it a bit bigger. You can bring it out when you're actually putting the paint on, okay? Okay, so that's that one. So that's one, two. And of course, we're gonna have a center here. Sorry, we're getting rid of the smiley face. Your center will be there. And your center will just peep in and down here a little bit at the bottom of that, okay? It's sort of to get a bit of perspective into it. I'll put a center in there for you as well. Then this guy up here, okay? We're gonna do the same idea. Nice, loose flow, don't even think about it. 
try and do it in time to the music in the background or something or whistle a tune while you're doing it now do you see see the way you did that's you know you don't need any more detail than that we just want a semi stylized look of sunflowers and there's three there okay because three is a crowd we're not going to do any more than that because i think three will be nice to explore and um, then maybe if you work on a bigger canvas you can go on yourself and uh, include a, oh, a field of uh, sunflowers but anyway that's all we're doing there we're not going to fix it you know you have fixed it we're not going to bother with that we're just going to go straight for a color straight in for a color and we're starting with the cadmium deep red it's here on your list i'll put that back up there where are we now see uh did i put it in cadmium red deep okay there it is and this is going to be the center of the sunflower or the seed head as they call it a little bit of water a little bit of water going into it okay and a nice smallish square flat or bright brush as they call them i'm just going to go straight in here like this okay i'm going to actually lift it on because it's fairly big lift it on like that spread it around you know try and keep to a circular shape for, for the seed head that that, that that you put in Okay, nice circular shape like that. Spread it all around, all around like that, keep going. And you know the usual story, what happens with all of my paintings. We might have to reinforce this when it dries, because uh, it might be semi-transparent in some areas. But it doesn't matter, it's normally fairly, has a good, fair, good covering normally, okay? Now, that, that's all we want to do there. We just want to get that in like that. Don't have to be too particular about it, okay? And then we go for the bigger one here. Just get that nice deep red in. As soon as we get these base colors in, and it doesn't matter if some of the blue is coming through because that's the whole idea. That's why we have our base colors, you know, to let the base colors interact with the, with the subsequent colors that you apply. Uh, because, you know, if you just have a white canvas, you're going to get a white canvas interacting, but that doesn't do anything really, unless you're working with watercolors on a white paper that's pretty effective now we have that one too and then we're gonna have a third one here I'm lifting it up as well you see I'm actually putting it on it's almost like a palette knife application and when I lift it on then I'm spreading it around okay I'm spreading the news or spreading the cadmium red deep okay there you go all the way around like that it's getting a nice covering of it okay that's all for the moment that's all we do there for the moment that's it okay that's all we're going to do there, just the seed head for the moment. Just spread that around a bit more. And we're going to clean off your brush now because we're going to get in the second color while we're here for the first section of the, of the art lesson. And we're going to go straight for our, I have it here, cadmium yellow light. Can you see it up here, cadmium yellow light? Number two, cadmium yellow light, and I have it here because we're going to use the cadmium yellow light for all of the petal areas, okay? And then we'll build up other colors as we move along okay again a nice little this is transparent by nature this color but we're going to apply it just to show you to get the base colors down you know i love applying the base colors and just watching them interact and you see the way i made it a little bigger than, than my pastel line because i'm allowed to do that because it's not you don't have to stick to the actual line if you feel that you need it a bit bigger go for a bit bigger you know Okay, across there like that, out there like that. See the way I'm moving nice and swiftly. I'm not thinking about it. Because if you think about it, mm, something might happen. You might, you might think too much about it. You know the way you can overthink things. Now do you see, see the way I'm stopping there? Because we have the one in the foreground which we want this to take precedence, okay? So I'm putting that in there so as we know there's gonna be a dividing line there, okay? So we have that there. That's gonna be filled in before the second one. Okay, going across here, I'm just following the lines very, very loosely, okay? Picking up some more yellow and coming up to this guy up here, making a bit thinner. Going out like that, yeah. In there, we're okay. There, we're okay. We're okay. They're not really social distancing, the sunflowers, but I do, yeah, they're fine. Now, cross there, cross up there like that. Okay, can you see that? So grand, we have them all delineated, as they say. Then we're going to lift on the paint. Have it nice and textured nice and textured you know a bit of impasto as they say in Italy always adds to it see the way I'm moving it around now in, in the clumps you know you don't have to be too delicate with this because you, you want some texture 
you want some feeling to these petals, even though they're going to be semi-stylized, you still want to give them a little bit of depth, you know. See, and I'm just keeping to the edge there of the seed head. That, that's, we didn't have to dry that because uh, we're not actually painting on it, okay. So if you just do it carefully around there like that, okay, grand, getting in this petal here and this petal down here. So what do you think of it so far? Can you see the way it's building up already? Bring that a little more there like that. And then we're gonna go into the background one here, the middle one. This is the sunflower in the middle. Okay, rounder all the way around, all the way around. Don't worry about that some areas have some blue coming through or whatever, it's not important. Because we're gonna put uh, another color on top of this, actually another two colors to get that effect of the, the tones in the petals. But don't worry, when we get to that, we'll show you with a much thinner brush. I'm moving over here to this side, okay? Because I've much more on the brush to spread and there's more area to cover on this side. But do you get the idea? Can, can you see the way now with just a few simple, three simple circles? Can you see the way it's happening already? And we haven't even got into the, uh, and I'm gonna leave a little gap there. Just before I'm talking, I'd forget about that. I'm gonna leave a little gap there to separate from the petals in the foreground, okay? That's gonna to have to stay like that. And then down here as well, a little gap there. Can you see it? You can let the blue come through. And a little gap there, just so as we know, okay, you're in the front, I'm behind you, I'm number two. And then he's number three over there. That's the middle sunflower talking to him. Okay, can you see that? Lift that up a little bit there just to change it. Okay, you've got one, two, and number three. And they're all equally important because they're all playing a major role in this composition. This one I'm working on gives a sense of distance. The one in the middle gives a sense of middle ground and the one up front gives a sense of, hey, look, I'm right in your face. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a bigger sunflower. I'm not bigger than those two. It's just, I'm closer to you. Okay, now I'll go around there like that, all the way around. And as soon as I finish this yellow here, we're going to take a break and dry this because as you know, we need to have a dry um, surface for the next stage. You know, for most of my paintings it goes like that. Unless of course for the, you know, the, the seed head there, we were finally able to move around that because that wasn't, we weren't going to use any other colors on top of that yet, okay? In there as well, just getting right in there all the way in there like that lovely yeah lovely jubbly okay in there a little bit of texture which is nice doesn't matter i'm going to dry it and the texture will stay in it okay have we got that now we have it a little bit up there just to cover that a little bit more there wasn't enough paint there i can see on that but as i said we're going to be adding more paint as we go along so don't you worry you take your time i'm probably after doing this quite fast but you don't have to do the first layers as fast as me, okay? You can take your time because that's what it's all about. And you could be, if you wanted to work on a much bigger canvas, don't forget, you always have the option of using one of these much bigger brushes to work on a big canvas, which I would normally work on. But I'm just doing the smaller versions for you because it's handier uh, in these uh, art videos. Okay, now you can see there, what we have done is clean off the brush onto the painting. Okay, so as you don't, waste any paint really although there's a huge amount of wastage in paint in the art world you know that, unfortunately that's the way it goes you never really use all of the paint in a tube I, I don't know what the percentage that you would you waste but I'd say it's quite high but anyway the mostly they're all cadmium free now they've gotten rid of all the chemicals out of paints which is very good now there you go I'm gonna leave it like that we're gonna have to come back to it to you after I dry it okay good to be back again and put on the kettle and have a nice cup of tea and I'll be back in a few minutes see you soon